Okay, I'm getting okay. ready to finally start the heart to heart quilt. So I haven't, I've been quilting, uh -huh. so I'm almost probably going to finish quilting next week on a quilt. Can you use the some of the designs from the original hearts and just downsize them and then I adjust the border based on your what I learned in your digitizing class? For some of the hearts, because I think some of the hearts are almost the same, right? As the original hearts. They're very similar. The different sizes. The, the, yeah, there's some there's a couple of hearts that are almost the same. Can I just uh, adjust so I like some of the other hearts? Can I adjust the size of the heart to make it and then to bring match it in what, and just use the quilting? And use the quilting, right. Adjust the size of the heart on the original one for some of them. You could do. And then adjust and then, that because I think when you said you I mean when I originally made the hearts quilt, which is I don't know if you can see some of the individual blocks, but I have another one. Yeah, I see the individual I, blocks. I downsized there. it. I I I took it down to like to make it fit my hoop. I didn't okay. have any problems with it, you know, stitching because okay. of that, you know, even though it went down like say 15%, it was still good. Right. It was still okay. It was still okay. Okay, well, the, the main thing to look at to look out for would be the satin stitch around the outside edge, because anytime you shrink a design, right. especially an applique design, the satin stitch will shrink proportionally. Right, and I didn't have any problem on, on the quilt, but I know how to fix that now based on I took your digitizing class, so I can go in and fix that. Okay, okay. so I can use okay. some of those and, and just make sure that it's the same size of heart as the heart in the in the quilt yeah and then um you might actually um be able to use so there let me see hang tight i gotta get some pictures up here because they're just some of them are a little different right from what i i, some I pulled of them them are a little different some of them we um we re-digitized to um make them a little bit cleaner um the sh we the we got some new shapes but i think um for the old one i think if i remember correctly hearts one two three and four correspond shape wise to some of the original hearts so if you shrink the original hearts down to the same size then you should be able to use the quilting for the new hearts okay but for the old hearts and if the shapes don't work out then there is the quilting design for all of the sizes which will quilt the full block right so you can put the applique use the full block quilting design make a copy of it plop the applique on it use the triple stitch outline on the satin stitch to create a eighth of an inch wide gap between the applique and the quilting. And then you can cut a hole in the quilting the same way that we do in the class, in the, so, in the digitizing and design master class, right? Right, so like on the, you had the, you had some different shaped hearts on the original that were slightly, you know, off, you know they weren't perfect. They weren't perfect. So I could do you, use, do you want I could me to show you the software what I'm what yeah, I mean? Sure. Okay. So, um, let's see. I'm gonna show you in hatch purely because my Benina embroidery software um is in a state of disrepair right now. I had to uninstall it and I haven't had time to get it reinstalled again. Uh literally at eleven o'clock this morning I was uninstalling it because it was it was not being friendly, let's say, um, in its interactions with Corel Draw. So give me a second here whilst I get Hatch up. Okay. Because I have both that, sets um, of hearts, but I like some of the quilting on the original hearts. <laughs> okay. Hang <laughs> tight. One second. Where did Hatch go? Is it actually doing anything? It's... Um, Oh. 
It's coming. It's taking its time about it, but it is coming. <laughs> okay, got it. Let me share my screen here. Over there. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. Um, so I am going to go to um Let's see. I'm actually going to go to um, the original. Okay, so in the quilting folder, you'll see all of the blocks that are um, basically standalone quilting. And then you've got the on point quilting for the hearts and the square quilting for the hearts. So are you going to be doing on point or... Um, square. No, I think it's an on-point quilt. It's the, it is the on-point quilt. So Good. that actually might make life a little bit interesting um, because now are you thinking large, medium, or small for the size? Um... Let, let's say we'll take the, a medium. The large for sure. The large for sure. The large for sure. Okay. So let's, um, I'm going to take the number one heart and so that one is a 10 inch square. We are going to go back um it would be the same concept for all sizes right yes okay we didn't want that because i probably did for the small medium and the small too because i like them. okay um my original thought was that you could take one of any one of um any one of these designs, but let's see, we want to be large. But these guys are um, th those guys are um, for the square orientation on point orientation. So you might have to do a little bit of fiddling. So let's say if we insert the design for one of the original hearts, let's see, original hearts designs, um, we will use the VP3, I think. So um, is there a particular heart that you're thinking of? Let me just get this. Um, I can't remember. I was pulling them up last night. I don't. Let me just pop into the Dropbox and get these downloaded because that will make life a little bit easier here. Just going to download all of them. So for anybody who has a Dropbox, one of the cool things to keep space available on your computer is that you can have everything stored up in the cloud, um, which is what we do. Otherwise, we would need a super giant hard drive to keep everything. Um, so when I want to use a, a design that I've got in the Dropbox, I come into Windows Explorer here and you see I'm right clicking on the designs folder going to the Dropbox menu on my computer, Windows-based computer, and I can say make available offline. And that basically downloads the design onto my hard disk so that it is easy to, um, to, to edit. So let's see. Okay, um, did, did you have a specific heart in mind? You can just pick any one for now, that's fine. Okay, let's, um, you know what, I'm going to go with the curvy heart because that one I know for sure is um, is not yeah. 
included in the original hot in, in the new hearts collection and um so there isn't going to be any quilting for it so let's see we want to shrink this guy down um, but we also want to rotate it and it's going to rotate minus 45 degrees okay we'll sit it in the center and let's say um there to there i think it's actually well let's make it eight inches that's about the same um, that's about the same proportion as the other hearts, right? Right, right. Um, you might want it a little tiny bit bigger. Let's make it eight and a quarter inches. And you want to make sure that you've got this um, okay. proportional. Now, you can see here that there are, there's a little bit of space here where you want quilting and there isn't any. And there's a bunch of space down here where you want... Um, where you want some quilting and there isn't any. And if we pop that up to the top, you can, let's see, we've got the quilting down here. The, um, there's a, actually that, the, you know, you, you wanna make sure that you've got a little bit of extra space around here, right? Right. So, this heart has actually got a triple, uh, not triple stitch, a blanket stitch outline. So we're going to ungroup that and let's see. We want, this is where life might be a little challenging. The VP3 version has got all of these things in individual stitches. So I'm going to take that out and I'm going to see if we have any better luck with the um, the Art 6 version, Curvy Heart Big. Okay, rotate it minus 45. We're going to center it and make it eight and a quarter. And pop it up to the top. Now we're gonna ungroup everything. It's doing really funky stuff with this um, blanket stitch, Sharon. Let's see. What if we take off the, the blanket stitch? You could do Ooh. that. You could absolutely do that because it, it's just, doing really strange things with it um around here and here um so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to copy it and i'm going to paste it and i'm going to turn it into a single run um i'm going to make it a, a, we haven't got any unused colors um i'm going to you you can see that let's make it dark you can see that you've got um, it's centered over the blanket stitch, which will also wind up being centered over the satin stitch. So where I would normally make, um, in order to provide uh, an eighth of an inch on either side or on the outside of the applique, I would set the width of the satin stitch to be 0.25. I want it to be a little tiny bit bigger than that. So let's say we make it 0.3 inches. If we send that back up to the top and make it that color. So now can you see you've got a gap between the edge of the um, blanket, blanket stitch. stitch, right? Right. So um, I would actually be more inclined to shrink the design shrink the applique design in the machine okay rather than in the software um because i think that will keep the blanket stitch intact um 
Okay, so now we're gonna unhide that. Now you can you and let's hide this guy here, that blanket stitch. Now you can um you can easily tidy up the edges around here, right? And I literally would um would I would zoom in a bunch and take take them one at a time. Right? Okay. To bring them down rather than taking a knife to it, because if you take the knife to it, you'll wind up with a bazillion pieces that aren't connected. And similarly, if you if you do a remove overlap, you'll also end up with a bunch of lines that are unconnected. Whereas mm -hmm. if you um if if you lit if you do it this way, it might take you a little tiny bit longer, but it will end up with a much nicer stitch out. Okay. So once you've done that, you've then got the challenge of how do you fill in these empty bits. So what I would do is insert a quilting design. Um, so I'm going to go back to um, heart to heart. Quilting, and I'm going to pick out one of the blocks. And let's see. Going to take a large heart block corner, <clears throat> which has got the same, and let's change the color on that so that we can be very clear about what's what. Um, let's see, we want that to be rotated by 180 so that we got it over here. Um, but you can see that that is, um, or it can certainly be arranged so that you you got the um right right over the quilting design right they they lay on top of each other that bit there right so what you can do is scoot that over until you Total get it aligned there, right? Right. And now I would go to the pink, which is what you want to keep, and um, start moving the end the nodes note. and put the curve like nodes in right as necessarily right. and kind of trace it. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. So, so many things that you can do. Okay. After taking the mass digitizing and design masterclass, right? Right. I just have to go back. Because you can... know how to do these things. Well, like I said, I, I have the base, I have the idea and I can go back to my notes and I can, I can, I think I can figure it out. <laughs> I think you can That's figure it take out. take me a lot yeah. longer than you. Okay. <laughs> Well, you have to kind of just be prepared to sit. And if you just take it slowly, it's not a race. Right. I think people, you know, it was it's really interesting as I was teaching the digitizing and design masterclass and people were seeing how long it does take to do some of the things, you know, digitizing isn't necessarily a speedy experience. So you kind of have to make it into a meditative experience. Right. And for just you, it's, it's a speedy and... experience, not for us. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a speedy experience for me either. So, um, but it's well worth. You know, you can you can right. really you you can really um, do do some magnificent things. Okay. 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 I will experiment. Yeah, I will. 
Like I said, I want to use some of the hearts from the original hearts. <laughs> so, okay. Well, well let, let me know how you get on. Because you well, can always come back. I probably won't be starting for my quilt for another week or so, about a week, maybe. Maybe three, four days. I, I have to finish quilting a quilt, which I've been working on for like a month, almost a month now. It's really slow. That's okay. It's all, well, we'll be it's back. All, it, it, it's all free motion it's minutes, and it's so. you know, rulers and free motion and it's just a lot of work. Yeah. But it's going to be beautiful when you're done, right? Well, I'm like I'm trying to get some stuff off my plate so I can eventually do the yellow finish the yellow submarine so so I can start on it. But like I said, but I want to start this embroidery too. So one day at a time, right, right, and it all comes together. 